My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today I'm going to teach you how to repair your skate shoes. Okay, so I got my Vans here and they're getting pretty worn out. Got a couple holes in them as you can see. Um, basically what we're going to do today is we're going to be using this stuff called shoe goo. Some of you guys have probably heard of it, some of you probably haven't. Um, you can use this either before you get holes in your shoes, which I recommend doing or you can do it after you have holes in your shoes already like I do. Uh, I go through shoes really fast. I put holes in them super fast. So I don't always use shoe goo, but it is the best way and it's the best way I've ever seen to actually protect and make your shoes last longer, which I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys want to do because I get a lot of questions about it. So I hope this video helps you guys out. So the first thing you're going to do is just Basically, isolate the hole and like figure out where you want to put the shoe goo on exactly. Then you're just going to twist the cap off. And this is like some real interesting stuff. It's like a very gooey, sticky substance. So there's definitely a good way to do this and a bad way. I'm going to show you the good way, okay? So basically, you want to put your finger on the hole, in the hole right there, because you don't want it to be like filtering in and dripping down in, in into the shoe. So basically, you're going to start by kind of squeezing some of it out like that and then just gooing it into the area and then you can kind of go like that and then you're going to have like a, a large clump. So just put that in and around that area you have it to look somewhat like this. You want to get it till it looks like that and you kind of just have this large clump. And notice how I'm still holding my finger on there so the shoe goo doesn't go underneath. Now what I do is I always, I always let it dry for a little bit right here. You just give it a few minutes because when you first put it out it's like super sticky so anytime you touch it it just sticks to your fingers but if you let it dry for a couple minutes you can kind of start molding it down so what I do here is I take my finger and I I just put it around the edges so that it's like that you don't want to mess with the middle of it too much but you definitely want to get the edges nice and smoothed out so that it doesn't peel off or come off. And this is some pretty tough, tough material, the shoe goo. And once you have the edges smoothed out, you can kind of just go over the top of it like so. So you gotta, so that you can get kind of a nice smooth surface on there. Now you don't want to make it too smooth because this is the part of your shoe that's going to actually be like gripping onto the board. So as it's drying, you can kind of go over it and just rough it out a little bit. As soon as you start skating on this shoe again, this will get roughed out and you'll be back to like your normal, your normal roughness of the shoe. This is why I like suede shoes by the way is because the suede is rough and it's rough on your grip tape so it sticks and it can flick your board really well. Another thing that you can do is you can put a sock underneath here to just hold it out because like I said before you don't want the shoe goo dripping underneath there which is pretty easy to do and it's more than likely not going to drip underneath. But yeah still hold your finger in there to just make sure that you're getting a nice smooth edge on the inside and it's not going into your where your sock is going to be. Now I'm going to show you what you can do on the toe. As you can see, I don't have a hole here yet. 
But what you can do is just as a protective coating before you get a hole, which might be the best time to do this, is you're just gonna coat a little bit of that shugu on there. Then you're just gonna kind of rub it around. You can even do just like a real thin layer of it. You can do that every week and then your shoes will never actually get a hole. Notice that this particular type of shugu is clear. So shugu comes in both clear and black. I probably would use the black one if I was just doing this on just the black suede part, but I actually don't have any of the black stuff, so yeah. The next thing that you can do to kind of protect your laces is you just put a nice little coating of this shugu down each lace like that, and then you just you just rub it around. Even if it just gets a very light coating on there, that's gonna help your shoelaces out a lot to not break. As you can see, this one here is about to go. So then after you, you get it all coated on there like that, then you're just gonna leave your shoes out for a while. Uh, I recommend leaving them overnight, actually, if you can as long as they're not going to get stolen outside your house or something funny like that. But yeah, so anyways, the other thing that I forgot to mention is that you have to do this outside. This stuff is super toxic, so definitely do not do it inside. Make sure you do it outside in a nice open air environment like this. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. As soon as you got your shoe coated like that and any area protected, then that's all there is to it. I'm going to have a link on my website to actually get this stuff. I'll do the clear one and the black one just in case you guys are interested. So yeah, go to my website, BrailleSkateboarding.com, click on the link, you guys can get the shugu, and then just follow the instructions that I gave you in this video, and your guys' shoes will last a lot longer, you guys can save yourself a lot of money. Alright, thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.